Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. So with the track being out for a week, the secret Easter egg track has been found. So we're going to go take a look at that track here today. So if you guys don't know where it is, you guys can find it yourself. But before we do that, I would like to thank Coldest Water for sponsoring another video here on the channel. The coldest water bottles, 36 plus hours, 13 plus hours hot, 36 plus hours cold, backed by thousands of Amazon reviews, all various sizes, coffee cups, thermal thermoses, tumblers, even dog bowls. Make sure you guys check out coldestwater.com. Everything in, will be in the link in the description box below. And make sure when you, you go to checkout, you make sure you use promo code EVL10 for 10% off your entire order. That's the coldest water, EVL10 for 10% off. Let's get back to the action. All right, so when I say Easter egg track, when this track was designed, we did put a secret track or Easter egg track in it. It wasn't super hard to find, but it is surprising that it took as long as it did to find unless people found it and never said anything. So we're going to go take a look at that track because if you don't know it's there, you uh, could miss it. And if you don't know how to get to it, you definitely could miss it. So definitely been getting a lot of great reviews from people on this track everybody seems to be loving the track oh god my is easy super slippery in the front everybody's been loving the track and loving everything about it and i can't you know express how much i appreciate all the support from all you guys on the patreon and everything getting this track out there and having a lot of fun with it some exclusive videos and things are going to be coming out for the second and third tier patreons here on the channel for you guys exclusive content this week for you guys for your first look at some behind the scenes and modeling and things of that nature so this secret track was something we wanted to put in to see if people could venture out and find it you could find it on the map and if you looked at the map you could actually figure out where it is and it is on the other side of this bridge so the bridge does say construction zone. I got a shoelace in the side of my shoe and it's hurting, so we fixed that. So it is on the other side of this construction zone. So the wall is actually not a collider. So if you've seen this, if you would have just driven through it, you'd find your way to this secret track on the other side of the bridge. So it goes into a nice little, like little downhill section with some uh, pretty cool walls and things of that nature. And like I said, if you didn't know it was here, you would never even think to go find it. So a lot of people did find it. A couple people commented about it, I asked them, and they did tell me where it was. So bringing you guys the reveal of the easter egg track here on the evil rabbit playground it's definitely a pretty cool track that is tucked away behind some pretty big mountains oh i forgot that turn uh tightened up so i haven't driven this track a super a lot on the online server when i've been on because i didn't want to kind of give it away but now that it's out here i feel like a lot of people are going to be coming to this track and having some fun with it it is a very nice flowing track kind of off the beaten path with some you know nice scenery and nice walls tucked away in the outside back of the map so like i said this was something we originally planned on having secret and seeing how long it would take people to find kind of a little easter egg from hexer and myself to you guys with track release so now you guys see where it is and now you guys are going to get the chance to come rip this secret track yourself. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of uh, very interesting elevation changes up and down. It flows both ways, which is really nice. Cool. And you can do stuff like that. I uh, did not expect that. And it's just a fun, fun little section of track. I can't break that too early. Ah, oh, I clipped the grass. So the HTCZ is uh, definitely gone through a little bit of a power change. If you notice, the sounds a little bit different. It sounds very similar to my S14. It is up into almost 900 some horsepower now. So we did do some modifying to this car to kind of bump up 
into more of a competition car, but we are working on the new Polo rally car, drift car as well. But you know my love for Z chassis, so that's kind of why we are in the Z right now. A little left foot brake there, we're gonna bring this in. Taking out that front clip. Doing a little first person action for you, as well as third person. I don't think the Z has as much grip as it needs to. I think I need to adjust the tires because the grip of the Z is actually not as grippy as I thought it would be. But these are 160 tread wear World of Drift Tour tires, so that is why we are trying these tires out because we're trying for competition tread wear tires. So we're gonna run the track the opposite direction. Ooh, which I think the track does run fairly well both ways so if you guys have actually found this track prior to me showing you guys the track right now I don't think I have any tires left I keep forgetting that I blow through these tires in one or two laps because we are on single with full damage so if you guys found this track before this video and me telling you guys about this secret track let me know down in the comment section down below if you didn't even know this track was here also let me know down in the comments below if you did not know the car was here because this is a fun track oh the colliders on this car I forgot they are on the other style colliders that uh, were giving me issues before I updated the two fives this is on the two five collider and uh, I definitely need to change that if I'm gonna be running this car some more so one other thing I want to talk to you guys about is something that I am in the works with right now and that is going to be a EBL Drift Invitational. I know I talked about this a while back on the channel and was working on some 800 horsepower cars. It's coming back. The, the talks of, if you guys heard talks of an EBL Drift Invitational, it is actually a thing. I am going to be planning to be doing a Drift Invitational tandem, doing judging and commentating and things on the channel. So that is something you guys want to follow me on Instagram as well as here on the channel to uh, get all the information for that when I will be doing the Drift Invitationals and things of that nature. So with that being said, what kind of cars would you guys like to see power-wise? Would you like to see the 2.5s, the original street cars, maybe some new cars for the Drift Invitational series here on the channel? We're running out of gas. Huh! And I got grabbed by Collider. We're gonna go back to pits because Collider fails. So one thing with the track being released and the Drift Invitational is something we can use the actual course that's up here on my playground for a competition. Everybody seems to actually love the FD style track here on Evil Rabbit Playground. It's a little short, quick tandem track with the good places to get some really good wall rides because of all the walls that are covering it off but it's also a great place to learn when and how to do a really tight tandem because it is a very short track and very small track which is very tricky if you're uh, first learning how to tandem it but I also have other tracks in mind like Rockingham um, doing the ESDA Daytona circuit, maybe the ESD Ass Marina circuit, and things of that nature. So I just wanted to bring some attention to that as well as show you guys a little Easter egg track that we put in here for you. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and are excited if you didn't know about that track to go rip that track if you guys are a part of this if you guys are not part of the patreon yet i leave the link in the description box below or search evil rabbit in patreon to get access to the track and the server and everything like that so i'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching another video and i appreciate all the support from all the patreons and everybody on the channel in the discord so as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit I'll see you guys on the track